Lucas, how are you doing? Uh, the video today is completely different than anything we've done before. Um, for the last three years, I've been wearing a pair of Mendel, a Mindel, I don't know how you pronounce it, Army Pro boots. Uh, now, they have been an absolutely fantastic boot. The only downside to, to the Army Pro boots is they're extremely heavy, a very, very heavy boot, um, but they're, they were very, very tough. They're dead now, they're worn out. Um, and I was talking to a friend of mine, he's an ex Special Forces soldier, and uh, he suggested these. They're called AKU. I don't know whether it's AKU or AKU, but we call them AKU. They're the Pilgrim Gore Tex boot, okay? Um, and they look, they're great. They're quite different to the Mendel Army Pro insofar as they're lightweight. Um, and they have a, this have a certain amount of like runner technology, I suppose, in them. They're they're really really comfortable to walk in. Probably the most comfortable pair of boots I've ever worn. And I've I've always purchased boots like Mendel, Loa, that kind of quality boot. Um, these are lightweight. Uh, you could definitely put heavy mileage up on them, but they're not 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 lightweight in a high tech kind of lightweight. They're still very very supportive, and I'd imagine they'd be very good if you had a heavy pack on. Uh, I don't expect these boots to last uh, three years like the way the Army Pro did. Um, but that said, if I got a year out of these, I'd be very, very happy. They don't seem to need much uh, breaking in. I've, I've put about, I suppose, five, six miles hill walking up on them over the weekend. I only got them on Friday and no blisters, no hot spots, nothing like that. Um, definitely a very, very comfortable boot. I would consider them a great boot for punting in. Uh, because you can you can you can sneak around in them. They're they're not clumpy, uh, and I suppose the idea of a military boot being clumpy and and heavy is gone now, and they're they're more sort of stealthy. Uh, I definitely I was looking at a pair of these for for a while, and I eventually pulled the trigger on them when my army pro started filling up with water from from the underside. I've actually worn out the soles. Uh, as I said, Gore-Tex lines, you can get these without a Gore-Tex liner, uh, and I'd say they'll be highly, highly breathable. Uh, so that's it, guys. I'll keep you posted on how we get on with them, and we'll let you know. But so far, so good. Uh, they seem like a great boot. As I said, my friend Corky, he suggested them to me. He's a ex-Special Forces soldier, and he has reaped a lot more than I'll ever sow, so he knows what he's talking about. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.